All right. Uh, but, uh, yeah, let's get into a little Fran Brown. Let's talk a little Fran Brown. And you know what we talked Fran Brown with? We talked it with uh, his young wideout, uh, Daryl Gill, young Texan freshman that is turned into a sophomore. At least he will be by the time uh, the next football season starts. Talk to Daryl after practice this morning. Here is our conversation. Well, Daryl Gill is our guest now as we continue our spring ball coverage here of the Orange football team. And well, what's this been like for you, the whole transition to a new coaching staff going through spring? What's these last few months been like? Uh, crazy, actually. Um, I don't even know how to describe it. Like, just coming back. I knew when we was coming back, we was on a mission. After the bowl game, he came to us. He talked to us. He was like, it's going to be a whole new, everything clean, slate. We need to work. Everybody needs to work. Everybody's starting at the same level. Everybody has to work the same amount, even harder. If you see somebody working harder, you got to work harder than them. It's just Coach Frank pushed us to be elite. He pushes us to be better than everybody in the nation. So Yeah, it sounds like from the sound of it, like workouts have been intense, practice has been intense. Have you been through anything quite like this before? Uh, a little bit because I come from Texas. So, yeah, yeah. So it's like it's always like this a little bit, but ain't, nothing can compare you like to from high school to college, no matter what they say. Like college, uh, high school, it was like it was hard. Like some of the stuff we do here, like I remember it from high school. So it's like, yeah, I'm prepared. But even then, you got to remember, like we grown now. So it's just like it's not the same. Like they'll limit the 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 ah on you when you're a kid. But up here, not. Nah, it's full throttle. Everything goes. So. Uh, can, can any of us Northeasterners properly understand Texas high school football? Is like there any way to understand it if you haven't seen it in person? Mm, nah, it's on videos. You're like, how he ain't make that tackle? What? It's different. Like, it's not even this, like, I don't think nobody can comprehend it. Like in the, in the uh, locker room, they'll be like, Texas football is no, 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 no. They don't play it. <laughs> they don't play it. So yeah, when you're playing in front of like 10,000, 15,000 on a Friday night, right? That It just don't make sense, right? Yeah, nah, not at all. They just everybody there. It's like a cookout and before the game is like a Saturday game, a college game, basically. So, yeah. There you go. A little, t- hey, no, a little tailgate never hurt anybody. <laughs> we got uh, Daryl Gill with us. Take me back to December. So the coaching change happens. I'd say in this day and age, the first thought on, like, everyone's mind, like, should I get out of here? Should I go on the portal? How, how did you handle that process? Um, I just kept in touch with my mom, my family, really my mom. She was uh, my main main one and my, my trainers. They just told me to stay focused, stay locked in when I came back. Um, they didn't say, they just, don't just jump in the portal because you don't know how, nowhere to go. So make sure you lock in with the coaches. Make sure you get to know them. Make sure you get to work with everybody. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think the biggest thing was um, just just stay locked in with the coaches up here. Yeah, I think, out. You know, I think there are like some new coaches come in, right? And they got no interest in dealing with the guys that used to be here, the guys that were carryovers. So how was the early relationship like with Fran for you? Uh, it was it was good actually. He he came in, he was cool with us. Like he came in because he he younger, so he like could reach us more. Mm-hmm. So it's like when he came in, it was it just like threw me off a little bit. But I was like, bro, he cool, like, he cool. So yeah. All right, Daryl, tell tell us a little about the football. We talk so much about culture now and how hard you guys are working. What, what's the football look like? What what's the offense been like to learn and get out there and play? Offense at first, I'm not, for me, it was hard to grasp. <laughs> it's like an NFL, and so I had to get get used to it, get fast. My my uh, my position coach, Coach Douglas, he was like. This is like NFL, so if you don't get it now, you're not going to get it later. So I was like, well, I got to lock in now if I want to make it to the next level. So he was just telling us, basically, like, they're trying to mirror it. So anything we'll do here, we can do in the NFL. So just got to keep building that status of, like, elite football. And um, the offense really just is fast-paced, throwing the ball, running the ball hard, throwing the ball hard, just shots, taking shots. It's everything. Like, we got everything, really. So, yeah. How much, you know, you talk about your coach and Ross Douglas, he was with the Patriots. Uh, your OC, Coach Nixon, was with the Giants. Like, when they say NFL, that's not just talk, right? Yeah. You, you know they're doing the real deal stuff. Yeah. Yes, sir, indeed. And, um, like, sometimes we'll be watching the film, and I'm like, whoa. Like, they really know what they're talking about. Like, just not, they're not just BSing us. They really know what they're talking about. So, yeah. It's just... You know, we go back to the end of last season. Obviously, you know, with all the injuries and everything, you, you guys were you, you ripped it up. You did a whole different offense that you're never going to do again in, in your life properly. How, how different is this now? You got Kyle McCordon in there. You're winging the ball around. How different is this than the last month last year? It's like it's basically like backyard football, really, to be honest for me. It's like when you sling the ball around like that, it's just like my dreams. Oh, catch it. Run. It's like a like a I don't know, like Madden, basically. Yeah, that's really what it is. Tell me about Kyle. What's he been like for you guys as a quarterback? Basically a leader. He's been a leader that we needed uh, on the offensive side of the ball. We always had defensive leaders. Like, Schrader was a great leader because I, I love Schrader. Shout out to Schrader. But um, uh, he's, he's a leader, too. He stepped up. He, him, LaQuint, um, OG, they're very much they're great leaders. But Kyle, when you talk to him, any mistake, he understands it. 
He just corrects you on it. He, like, he understands the, what everybody's doing, like, always. He's a general of the field. So, like, when he sees something that you don't see, maybe, he'll, you got to come to him, talk to him, whatever, fix it up. Next time you do it, next day you do it, it's fixed. So, When you go back to last year, right, I mean, Kyle was at Ohio State. He started at Ohio State. He was throwing the ball to the best wide receiver in the draft. The fact that he's got those, you know, bona fides in his pocket coming in, what, what does that tell you guys? And how much easier does that make that to listen to a guy like that? It makes it way easier. It actually uh, – actually like makes us want to step up in the wide receiver room because it's like who gonna be that guy really and if we're all that guy then it makes it easier for him to, to like lock in to trust us and just throw him throw us the ball really so yeah. he can score because you you, got, you know what happens when he has a guy like that we saw it last year all right what, what's the what's the biggest change that you have had to go through here in the last few months mm, say mentally just like locking in like um like grade wise, gotta like it with my grades because I'm getting more uh, intensive treatment with the, with like my uh, degree works, and so like that and practice is like mentally it's like draining, but it's just like every day you gotta pray, ask God to give you uh, energy, get up and keep doing it. Just that's really what it is. Now, what takes more study in class or the playbook? Playbook, <laughs> definitely <laughs> the playbook. Like, I can grab class really because I'm just sitting there like, okay, playbook is all fast. You doing it? Next play. If you don't get it, come in. That's what it is. So it's just you got to keep uh, working at it and really, really until you lock in and get it all down. All right, Daryl, I've been asking guys this since uh, the news became official. We, we all know the college football video games coming out uh, this summer. Like, how fast did you sign on that paperwork to get in the game? Were you going to see Daryl in that game? Oh, yeah. Y'all going to see me in the game. <laughs> I, I, was, uh, I was getting uh, harassed by my friends. They were like, I'm going to use you in the game if you don't, si if you don't sign up. I'm gonna beat you up. Like, oh my god! So, so I'm, I had to sign up. So I don't know. It was like 40 friends that hit me up with that when that first came out, and I was already excited because I've been wanting to be that since I was little. I remember my um, older brother had the game, so we was playing on the PS2, PS3, yeah, something like that. So I were always, yeah. So long ago. Unfortunately, it's 10 years ago. It's a few versions of the systems ago now. At this point, I think everybody's anxious for this summer. Well, you guys gonna have fights this summer over the over the ratings you guys get? Like, well, what's that gonna do in the locker room? When you get you get that number next year. <laughs> They're gonna give me like an 80 and above because I swear I'm gonna be at the headquarters. Nah, I, I just I need I need a please, please. I'm sorry. Like, okay, like let me think about this. I need a good rating, like 80 and above. I'm not a I'm not I'm not no a water boy. Please, like that's all I need. An 80 and above. Okay, see that that's reasonable. Like Dennis Jock, as I was talking to him earlier this week, and he demanded a 99. That felt a little aggressive. I mean, hey, if you that confident, you that confident. I just, <laughs> it's not me. I, I just know I got to work on stuff. So you gonna give me an 80 or both? We gonna have to settle it in an email email battle. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. It is a video game. You got to email. Them. You can't you can't go find these people. All right, last thing, uh, Daryl. We got a week left in spring ball. What, what's the main thing you want to accomplish in the next week? Uh, game more trust with Kyle. Uh, work on my, just working on basic stuff. Get locked in, finish the spring hard, um, get all A's in my grades because I'm almost there too, and and it's basically it. All right, Joe. Good stuff, man. Good to talk to you. Yes, sir. Thank you.